Hey, hello everyone and welcome in a new video in this video number 41 about uh, Ansible. Uh, what uh, we are talking about, uh, I want to show you how to use uh, the Docker container module. This is a very, very useful module. Uh, if you want, you can subscribe to my channel to not miss the next video. I hope you appreciate it, of course. If you want, you can like, uh, like uh, each uh, video. The uh, purpose is uh, of uh, this uh, this tutorial. Uh, we want to run a container uh, from uh, our image. Uh, you can uh, you can uh, go into the previous video uh, to see to see how to create an image. Uh, if you want, you can follow this link uh, to to see some documentation about a Docker container module. Uh, some parameters about it, uh, capabilities, you can add or remove capabilities. Uh, you can uh, you can define a specific uh, command uh, for the command line about your container. Comparisons, uh, very, very uh, strange, <laughs> very uh, interesting uh, uh, parameter. Uh, if you want, you can define uh, how Ansible can handle uh, difference between your container uh, on your target server and what uh, what uh, you you have uh, uh, described um, in your uh, in your uh, in your playbook or in your variable. Uh, you can set uh, environment variables. Uh, uh, with uh, just uh, environment variables or you can use a specific value to, to do it uh, to set uh, some uh, variables you can expose uh, port of course like uh, a docker run uh, dash p and uh, you can define a nil check uh, you can uh, specify of course uh, very important to specify the the source image to create your container you can define the links uh, this is a specific uh, parameter when you want to create a network between uh, uh, containers define a log driver with some options uh, the name of course uh, which uh, which name for your container uh, the networks if you want, you can create a network and use it with uh, with Docker Container Module, or uh, with it later, uh, you can use Docker Network uh, Module, of course. Uh, we can define the port. Uh, this is a port mapping, uh, a port mapping uh, with uh, uh, the port on our target server and the port into your container on target server. Um, if you want, you can always recreate uh, the container or uh, you can uh, define uh, the policy to restart uh, it uh, on failure or always. The state of this container, uh, by default, of course, uh, you want to create a container and you set it uh, to present, but you can run uh, an absent uh, state to remove uh, the container. We can just start it or stop a container. We can uh, set uh, some modules um, with a, a container already exists. We can use uh, a volumes from uh, this container with volumes from. And now we can start with uh, a little example. Um, let's go. Uh, on the, uh, the first terminal, we have Devant one server, which is our target server. And uh, below, uh, we have our uh, Ansible server. Uh, I want to, to change my playbook. We just paste it and I change the notation. Right, and what we want to do, we want to copy uh, the build, uh, we want to create a slash tmp slash build directory. We want to copy the content of our app, uh, our local directory uh, app, and we want to copy it in slash tmp build. And 
after it, we want to create our image, like, like in the previous video, named uh, EMG uh, build with a tag uh, for uh, V1 uh, version. We want to create it and we use build to create it uh, from a docker file. Uh, we use the path of our uh, docker file and name uh, of our, uh, the name of our file named uh, docker file, of course. We can use a cache from uh, Alpine uh, 3.9. And after it, we just want to, uh, to just start a container with this new image, EMG uh, build and we want to start it. So I save it. Uh, I want to have, uh, so I can remove up, up here and I want to copy, uh, you can go into uh, the link in the video description. You have a, a GitLab repository and you can download all files on uh, on this uh, repository. You can go in uh, GitLab, uh, so in uh, the DevOps land repository, Ansible and our uh, video number uh, 41. I want to copy the app module from here. So we need dash R, right. And now what we want to do, we want to run uh, this uh, docker file uh, in app on our target uh, target server. So we 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 add uh, an instruction uh, a from instruction from Python uh, 3.9 uh, with Alpine uh, OS, and we run some uh, some command to add a pip curl and uh, after it we create a directory we copy uh, the content of this directory with our code in uh, app.py and we run the requirement so let's go now we just want to run on Sible dash playbook dash i our inventory dash u with background user we use dash K to specify an SSH password and I want to uh, run the playbook. Let's go. And now if we go on our target server, what we have, we have only uh, two image and now Ansible build our image on this target server. We just need to wait a few seconds go and it's okay and now if I run again docker image what we have we have uh, an intermediate image uh, this is a from instruction with python uh, 3.9 on alpine but finally what we have we have our uh, emg build uh, with v1 uh, version good um, if I just use docker PAs, what we have, we have a container started here from uh, 27 seconds, and this is the container uh, C1. Okay, so this is this line. And now what we want to do, we want to, uh, to start this container with a specific, we can do it, we, we don't uh, do it, but uh, um, we can do it if you want, you can specify uh, the mod detach uh, or no, uh, or maybe we can do it detach to no and a specific command, like here, uh, oh I don't know which image, oh this is with you want to know, we we waste our time if we do it. If you want, you can specify uh, a port, expo which port do you want to expose on which uh, port on your uh, target server. And uh, a better uh, example, like here, uh, we can just specify the port to start. 
okay uh, i can go into our playbook file we want to have to add uh, the port uh, here port we can specify many ports but in our case we want just uh, uh, to redirect uh, port 8888 8, 8, 8 on uh, 80, 80 of our container and we can run it again okay and if I go on our target server docker ps actually uh, currently we don't have any port and if we wait some seconds now I can run again docker ps and now we have a, 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 an expose port of our uh, 80, uh, 888 on 8080 if I uh, run a curl on 127.0.0.1 on port 88 uh, 888 we have a response okay so now if we have it we can uh, add something like it we'll see it later and we we'll use it uh, later in uh, uh, in uh, ansible but we can uh, use it it's very interesting we can use the uri module like here okay and if we do it what we do we we ask uh, to our ansible to wait that uh, this uh, url uh, responds a status code uh, to 200 and uh, wait uh, during uh, uh, two minutes with a delay uh, of one second okay so if i run it again maybe we can see it run background again and now we can see it here we check uh, and now maybe oh no that doesn't work okay we we check but uh, that doesn't work uh, the the url uh, don't listen or uh, we have no response with 200 okay um, another example maybe select is not uh, good uh, we can test it with a curl here oh it's empty okay not problem okay why um, maybe like here okay I can remove uh, remove oh, sorry remove select maybe and I use background again no I don't know why because uh, it seems to be okay here and uh, which server how oh, maybe no I don't know docker ps uh, oh this is uh, on uh, on the second server okay not very important but uh, we'll see it later and um, now another example uh, we can uh, use a heel check uh, in our container uh, with uh, docker and to do it to set it we can add it uh, in our container uh, docker container module in our task and uh, we can add it here um, oh, sorry okay let's go and we can remove some lines, uh, some colon. Not 
sure. Maybe here, yes, nope. Oh, yes, like here. Okay, and what we want to do, we want to run a curl on this port on our target server, okay? And uh, this is a curl uh, into our container. So I can run it again. Background, okay. And in this case, if we check, can wait. Okay, that takes a few seconds because we need to recreate uh, our container. Okay, and if I uh, run again our Docker PS, what we see, we see we have a health and uh, the state is starting at now, and now is healthy. Our container is up and healthy. Right, that's all for today. Thank you for following this video and see you in the next one. Bye.